work at the Argonne Leadership Computing Facility as the Deputy Division Director. I'm also the Project Manager and the Technical Lead for our next big system which com is coming in. This is a 10 petaflop IBM Blue Gene Q called Mira and it is uh, 48 racks with 10,024 nodes per rack. Each node ha is a 16-way core processor. It has 16 gigabytes of, gigabytes of memory in each node as well. It's connected up with a five-dimensional torus, and um, in addition, it has an InfiniBand connection out to our data storage, which is 35 petabytes of disk space. One of the great things about the BlueGene Q system coming on board is it's, it's not that big of a change for the programming models for our users. So if they've already running on a P, running it on the Q is basically just a recompile. If you want to take advantage of the features, the new features, and get the best performance out of it, you want to probably look at node level parallelism to see if there's a way to add threading, use OpenMP, something like that. And that may give you an added performance boost, but again, it's relatively simple to do. It's not complicated, such as using a GPU might be, and um, it just makes things easier for the users. Well, we do have some GPU-based systems, and that's for our visualization, our data analytics side, and we'll continue to do that. Um, I think we'll, we'll also continue to look at where do GPUs fit best, what applications are best suited to them, what applications are best suited to a system like BlueGene. It's always a trade-off for an application and a scientific programmer.